Oh, get your hand up. Get away from There's the no convention. Point. Here's Gavin Sullivan, a citizen journalist trying to cover the Minnesota Republican Convention for District 42B. Watch what happens. And Eric refuses to tell me who my state representative is. I've emailed him every day for 20 days now, and he won't even answer the question. That is Eric. And, 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 and Angela. Okay. <laughs> and, and I'm getting thrown out by the Republican thugs who don't want me to bring that to your attention. No. Oh, no. It's more fun this way. <laughs> Democracy in action, folks. I'm a sergeant of the arms and I'm taking you out. Yeah, and you're going to get, get your hand off me. Oh, get your hand off me. Get away from There's the no convention. Police. Get out of here. I can walk. I have you get your hand off me. It's time to get leave. your hand off me and I'll leave. Okay, now you leave. Unfortunately, it's not an isolated incident. Over the past several months, Minnesota Republicans have repeatedly booted video journalists from their events. And I'm talking to Wendell. I'm in a public building now. You can't throw me out. <laughs> this is Republican Congresswoman Michelle Bachman at a recent tax rally. You can see and hear her here because the rally was at the state capitol. But you can't see or hear what she said when she was endorsed last month. That's because the 6th District GOP banned all cameras and audio recording devices, including those from the St. Cloud Times and Minnesota Public Radio. The Uptake's video volunteers have been booted from the state party's convention in Blaine, a debate between the Republican 1st Congressional Districts in Jackson and the Republican 1st Congressional Convention in Albert Lee. Uh, a few weeks ago, I, was, you know, I got the assignment to go there. And I emailed and uh, called the person who was in charge of the event, the, the chairperson for the 1st Congressional District, and I got no response. So I figured, OK, I'll just go down there. I'll talk to someone at the press credential table, and we'll see what happens. Uh, I went down. I didn't see any press credential table, so I walked in. I set up my camera. I filmed for a while. And I was told by the sergeant at arms that I have to register my camera. Uh, I asked him who to do that with, and he said to, that he would talk to the person who I emailed originally. The sergeant at arms comes back and says that I was denied access, and I asked why, and he didn't give any, he said there wasn't any reason given, so I had to leave. Um, and uh, that's kind of similar to another time when I was up in Blaine. Uh, I was uh, doing pretty much the same thing. Uh, I talked to, before the event started, I talked to the communications director at the Minnesota GOP and told him what I was doing there and said everything. And then later, a guy uh, aggressively approached me. This time it was, that time it was aggressively approached me and said that I had to leave um, for, and gave no reason. He didn't identify who he was. He didn't say why he could tell me to leave. Uh, I, I eventually asked him to go talk to the communications director, and he came back and just said that I have to leave. You've been going to a lot of DFL events. Have you had good access to all these events? Um, like, do you get credentialed ahead of time, or how? Like, how have you gone about doing that? You know, I've just emailed. Uh, I've applied for credentials at the DFL convention in 2006. Uh, I applied for credentials here for this convention, uh, and the turnout—they were very responsive in getting back to me, which I appreciate. I do believe, and I've said this before in my blog, that I do believe that that convention should be open to the opposition and to political parties. I think Republicans sh should let Democrat bloggers in, and vice versa. From an openness standpoint, I think that's important to do. It would certainly be the right of the third district Democrats to not allow bloggers in, but this is a, a relatively open process, and I think it's Repu I think I think it's something that Republicans uh, sh should look upon mirroring in some regards. Party aren't scared of the blogs that are their mouthpieces you know that will post the the talking points or the press releases and then just like comment and say like "Ooh, this one's hurt gotta hurt or something like that you know but I do think uh, there is kind of a fear of blogs and new media in general and they don't really know they know what the Democratic operatives are gonna do but they don't really know what uh, media outlets are gonna do so that's the best that I can come up with because I just think it's weird <laughs> to tell you the truth. From a blogger's perspective, these things should be open. Get out of here. <laughs>